सो एनी क्वेश्चन गाइस एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट्स एनी चैलेंजेस नो क्वेश्चन ऑल गुड आई गिव यू एन असाइनमेंट हम इन ऑफ यू कंप्लीटेड गाइस yes so i got update from isha she tried and uh, sanjya she also tried okay two three people tried but i don't think that is the correct answer guys that is the correct way so even i gave you the hint how to check for that script simply go to google now itself guys go to google once just open google open google i hope you can hear me right Yes yes. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. Fine. So, type script to take backup with the date and time in SQL Server. Just type script to take the backup with the date and time in SQL Server. Let me know how many of you got the answers. okay you will get one website on the top which is ms sql tips okay so just let me know how many of you are able to see that script big script will be there not two three line script yes i got it you got it right yes yeah can you share your screen if possible let me give you the access uh one minute uh. let me stop sharing so you are connected from uh, laptop right yes sir i am connected from laptop okay let me give you the access share screen yes One second. Yes, please. Right. So you can see the script, right? I asked you the same, guys. On the first results itself, you can see a script. See how much script you can see, right? Uh, can you copy that script? just from the beginning copy that script yes go down yeah copy it and just till that end line yes 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 cursor yes very good open notepad just notepad Control V. You want the tab of code, okay? So if you want, you can keep it in another notepad. Yes, yes, one minute. Yeah, just keep it in another notepad. One second, sir. No problem. No problem. Take time. No, it will ask you to save. Just again, open Windows R Notepad. Hmm. You can minimize this. Oh. Right. Expand, maximize this window. so just read the script guys very simple script it's not a, you need no need to break your heads very very simple script first line is you have to declare the name which is database name you can see okay second line is path for the backup file declare at path third line is declare at file name 
okay and fourth line is declare at file data okay used for file name if you go to the next line specify see guys if you see two comments can you please highlight sandhya if you yeah. see two two lines before the message before the text that is called a comment okay if you see two lines or uh, two hyphens we can say that is a comment guys it won't execute it's just a comment to understand specify database backup directory what it is showing set at the rate path is equal to c colon test so you have to either create test folder in the c drive or here you can change the path to your default location clear right remaining no need to change anything guys you can blindly execute it and one more thing here if you execute this script okay you will get backups with only date then how to include timestamp in the file name how to include timestamp in the file name go to the same website sandhya yeah. Yeah. you can see one comment in the below database backup file name format db name yes, yyyy yes. mmm ddd hhh mmss dot bak what it is saying if you want to also include the time in the file name you can yes, replace yes. this line in the above script which line with which line you can see here with line which with uh, which line you have to replace the first line you have to replace with the second line so check it where is the first line in the script go to the script go to the notepad yeah where is the first line there you can see there just highlight that highlight that this one yeah that that one yes now go to the script again you have to replace with the below line copy the below line completely below below line no 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 you have to replace line. that line with the below line copy it just that line uh, yeah you can copy no problem you can copy both lines hmm. now just replace control v directly hmm? hit enter that's it guys that's it these these two change how much time it took hardly tell me we we just started our class at 6:30 right now 6:35 how much time it took means you are not even reading the website what it is showing you are not even trying also now control a control c open management studio sandhya it was already there right cancel yes, yes, sir. Uh, cancel control v here there it is showing the path uh, just control a control v no no go to the notepad minimize the server first uh, minimize the server first minimize the rdp connection okay okay you can see that one right okay no problem stop sharing and minimize the server and you can start sharing again you can see red button stop share yeah 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 now just minimize the server share again can you mm, yeah okay okay control c go to the server i'm unable to join the server is there right rdp that one remote connection do one thing okay uh, what you can say why you yes. your taskbar is on the top okay fine very good so now what you have to do you have to simply create the path c test folder is not there right go to c drive create test folder you can see the path c test folder so in the yes. c drive create test folder that's it 
or you can change the path here to the de uh, default location open c drive control shift n no no need to change any control shift n will give you the shortcut for new folder test that's it enter now execute the script ga script sanja just execute it done go to that c test folder now open that folder oh you don't have user databases sorry i didn't i do okay do one thing no problem no problem still we can do this okay do one thing go to the script once you don't have even one user database also go down go down uh, go down go up little bit up you can see skip the databases not in where databases not in yes here you can see master model msdb right delete all these three databases delete master Wait. model msdb here it is uh, delete master model msdb up to temp db no 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 just master model msdb that's it we are taking back up to the system databases now if you delete okay. just to remove the databases that's it remove that comma also hmm. now it now it will take the backup of system data execute it again done go to that folder c test thank you go to that c test folder now can you see the backups with the date and time stamp yes yes all databases no need to take yes. manual backups if you execute yes. execute second time again execute second time the same script execute second time hmm. go to the folder again see here six yes. files earlier three yes. files now six files which includes yes. date and time stamp so one second also if one second also difference is there new file will be generated yes sir yes. how much time it took as we don't have user databases it took just 5 more minutes extra to edit the database 5 minutes right hardly isha clear yeah yes sir Yes, that's good. Okay. Actually, choose and you know, but uh, I'm unable to find it. Okay, okay. Same way. See now, yeah. yeah, you have to now create the job. Can you create the job with the script now? Right click it's new job. Just perfect. copy paste that here only. Yeah, new job. Full backup all databases. Just mention. full backup all the databases same same should be full backup any, anything anything you can give full backup all dbs you can mention go to steps directly go to steps new step yes copy paste that yes. script here step name can yes, be anything. yes very good so here uh, do one thing uh, copy paste the copy paste the recent uh, script okay it includes yeah recent script. recent script only. i mean no 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 no, 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 no. I, yeah, I, i will change it then yes change it hmm. yes sir okay can i give you a step name yes yes full backup step Yeah, okay. Hmm, that's it. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, okay. And give the schedule. Click okay. And schedule. New new schedule. Just mention S C H. Yes, name. Ah, uh, uh, S C H. Ah, uh, you can you can schedule it uh, Sunday twelve a.m. It's okay. Keep it as it is. No need to change anything weekly. Okay. Keep weekly it as. One set twelve a.m. night. Yes. Okay. Click OK. Click OK. Yeah. Done. Now, if you run that job again, it will take the backups. Run that job now. Expand the jobs. Yeah. 
full backups. Hmm. Yes. Right click, start job. No, 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 not stop job, start job. Start, start job, yes. Done. Check the system that folder again, test folder. See? Yes, it was good. Very simple, guys. Very simple. Even I gave you hint also how to search in the Google. Okay, fine. You can stop sharing. Thank you, Sandhya. Hello. Yes, please. Uh, user database also same thing, sir. Same I mean, uh, only. See here, no need to worry about the user database. It will pull the all database names. You don't have user databases. That's the main problem. Yes, yes, user, now, now itself, you can create one user database, just a blank database. You can run that script automatically. It will take the backup. No need to modify the script also. Just create okay. one database. Right click new database. Give any name. Give cred. Can I give this? C R E D cred. C R E D cred. Okay. 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 Done. Now run the script again. Run the job again. Done. Go to that folder. Red, you can see full backup. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So no need to no need to change anything here. Anything, anything here. Anything. As you don't have user databases, that's why I asked you to remove system databases. Okay. okay. If I if I give system bases, I mean system database, will it execute that? Why you will give system database first? Tell me. If you give system, database, mean, see the condition is where name not in name not in if you give not in means it will skip all the databases if you mention the database names here it will skip all the databases if you mention okay. where name in then okay. it will the backups of all the databases, all the databases. here okay. okay clear as you don't have user databases that's why i asked you to remove the system database at least to generate backups for system database okay what the point Okay, done, guys. Let me... Shall I stop the sharing? Yes, yes, yes. I just stopped it. Okay. Okay. Sir. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you. Sir. Right. So let me connect to the server, guys. Clear any issues, any doubts are there here? Please let me know. One more thing, sir. Yes, yes, please. So the system database law on the default database template be charo. I mean, mention Chilman Arkada. If no, no, e databases only mention Jason and Kondi. I mean, uh, master and model and everything. Okay, where name or not in a narrow. No, no, so yes. if our uh, database law on the anta backup over the Kada. Yes, so e backup this point to the Maradi. Use a database, Sanja. Use it uh, directly. Use the database. Yes. Whatever database names mentioned in the where not in section, yeah. it will skip all the databases. If I mentioned in the will... user database here, I mean cred which I created now, it won't take it. It won't take it. Yes. I mean that time, that time who, who why who you is... want to mention? First of all, tell me that's what my question. Why you want to mention cred in that section? Why you want to mention cred? We want ba backups, right? In that case, why we have to mention cred in that section? See, why they mention means they, this script is only for user databases, which okay, will okay. keep the system databases. That's system. why they mentioned the system databases. Okay. Again, okay. if you include cred in that list, it won't so, take the backup. So it will simply yeah. skip it. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. I got it now. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yes. Uh, Sudhakar, it's not mandatory that you have to mention SCA. So it's a recommended practice to mention SCA. Okay. 
it's not if you mention SCA then only the job will run not like that it's a recommended practice why because if Sanja is creating the job the owner will be Sandhya if Sanja left the organization Sanja account will be deleted from the active directory then the jobs that are depending on Sanja's username won't run properly so that's why we'll give permanent login SCA it doesn't mean that you have to give only SA, then only job will run, nothing like that. Yes, Sudhakar, clear? There is any way to check who is ran, who, ah, yeah, 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 we can check Sudhakar, very good question, I'll show you that now, okay. Yes, actually yes. actually you have to know this thing who ran the job how at what time it ran how many hours it ran okay what is the uh, current uh, uh, date and time means like when it ran last time when is the next run everything we can check using a uh, job activity monitor we have one tool called job activity monitor using that tool there itself you can see job activity monitor i'll show you now so using that tool we can see at what time it was started who ran the job how much time it took to complete okay and the history of the job and also when will be the next run okay you can see that as well i'll show you that Right here, if you expand the SQL Server agent, you can see job activity monitor, right? Double click on it. You can see all the jobs in the SQL Server, okay? If you maximize this, these are the jobs. Whether job is enabled or not, yes. What is the status? Currently, it is not running, which is in ideal state. What is the last run outcome, which is succeeded? When, when it ran last time, you can see, okay? Today morning at 7.59. When it will run next time, 10.30 means next Sunday it will run again. So, how much time it took, you can see here. Scheduled, runnable, yes, okay. So, what you can see here, right click, view history. Okay, expand this. See here. Uh, now, you can see the iterations, right. So, the job is succeeded. Job was invoked by user administrator. Who ran this job? Administrator ran this job, you can see here. And you can see how much time it took to execute. Means you can easily compare guys. For example, if one pull backup job is failed. Now you are in a dilemma whether to start or not. If I started this job, how much time it will take to complete. Then you can check the history. So last time, how much time it took to complete the job. So you can guess it right. Easily you can guess it how much time it will take to complete. So duration and all you can see here. So who ran the job? and uh, at what time he ran on what date he ran and how much time it took everything you can see in this job history also do we have any limitations like only from the same user who has to take the backup alone can be used to nothing like that sudhakar anyone can restore who, who is having permissions they can restore limitations means permission whether that person is having permissions or not okay if he is having permissions he can restore 
clear yeah no problem fine guys so just discussed about the uh, jobs uh, so we'll continue with the maintenance plans maintenance plans also very important uh, uh, concept so we'll discuss about the maintenance plans whatever we did now with the date and time stamp that we can achieve with the maintenance plans guys okay we took the backup with the date and time stamp right so the same thing we can achieve with the maintenance plans if you run a full backup maintenance plan okay the backups will be generated with the date and time stamp so here how to create a maintenance plan guys job is nothing but collection of steps job is a collection of steps which can be scheduled in that step any query you can schedule in that step any query you can schedule job is the collection of steps guys whereas maintenance plan is the collection of jobs collection of jobs is called maintenance plans okay where i can see the maintenance plan under management section you can see maintenance plans okay so if you expand currently you don't have any maintenance plans <coughs> i want to create a maintenance plan right click new maintenance plan so maintenance plan will be the name we have to include the we have to give the name of the maintenance plan so we'll give full backup maintenance plan same see sir we are having full backup job again why to create maintenance plan either we'll go with the maintenance plan or we'll go with jobs no issues we can go with either jobs or you can go with either maintenance plans okay both not required guys if you are having full backup job no need to create full backup maintenance plan right so full backup mp mp means maintenance plan click ok so once you created this one now one toolbox will opened guys one toolbox will opened here see here toolbox so this maintenance plan also you can schedule see here not schedule right you can select this schedule button and you can schedule weekly sunday at 12 am just click ok now it occurs every sunday now i want to take the full backup right go to this toolbox for doing this there is one tool okay generally in the toolbox you can see 11 maintenance tools you can see 11 maintenance tools or tasks if you expand this you can see here these are all the maintenance tasks okay backup database task check database integrity means whether database is healthy or not we can check using this dbcc check db dbcc check db or database integrity task both are same execute a sql server agent job task execute a t sql statement history cleanup task maintenance cleanup task notify operator i'll discuss i'll i'll, I'll tell you what is this operator and all rebuild index task reorganize index task shrink database task update statistics task you can see these are the default tasks you will get it i want to take full backup of all the databases right select this just drag it here okay so now you can see here but you haven't mentioned the database names which databases you want to take the backups you haven't mentioned the path to which location it has to take the backup you haven't mentioned the type of backup whether full or differential or log backup so you have to give all these things right so that is called configuration double click on it to configure and you can see here red cross mark so if you see red cross mark means this is not yet configured means you haven't gave any details just double click on it to give the details so what backup you need i need full backup on what databases okay all databases only system databases only user databases or specific databases your wish guys whatever you want you can do if you select all databases it will take the backup of all databases including system databases also if you select only system database it will take master model msdb if you select all user databases it will take only user databases backup if you select specific databases master model msdb and some other databases you want you can select whatever databases you want i'm going to select all databases guys okay this is very important 
ignore database where where the state is not online i told you right if the database is not online your backup will be failed if you don't select this option if any databases are offline your maintenance plan will be failed guys if you select this option it will simply ignore the offline databases it don't touch the offline databases backup and all okay select this option ignore databases your state is not online fine destination to which location i have to take the backup so create a backup file for every database so this is the default path guys as discussed this is our current default path so if you select this one create a subdirectory for each database let me open our default backup path right here backup you can see all the backups right you don't see any folders right here what is the meaning of this create a subdirectory for each database means for example if you are taking master this one this one is taking master database backup it will create a folder called master with the database name in that you can see the backup with the date and time stamp okay fine guys so that is the meaning of this option create a subdirectory directory means folder guys that's it if you want to change the path of this default location you can change it i don't want to keep in this location i want to keep in a separate location you can change it let me create a separate folder for your purpose okay control shift n uh, sql backups sql backups done right here let me change the path to sql backups so see sql backups okay okay so in this sql backups it will create a folder guys you can see this is empty okay nothing is there in this sql backups let me minimize this right it will take the backups to see sql backups just to explain you i am changing the path nothing else guys backup extension will be dot bak okay keep it as it is bak as it is already mentioned as extension no need to mention dot just bak options okay no need to select of course if you want to take the backups with a uh, with compression and all you can take it okay use default server setting of course it will take backup with a default server setting if you want to take only copy only backups you can select this one so different options are there so nothing to worry guys okay just click ok now done see here that red mark was gone that red mark was gone fine so now you can save this maintenance plan it is already scheduled it is already scheduled occurs on every week on sunday if you want to change it you can still change it guys okay at 12 am it will run so save it guys right so now i want to run this maintenance plan actually this will run at sunday 12 am but i don't want to wait means to today night at 12 am it will run actually so i don't want to wait till 12 am i want to run immediately i want to see now okay right you can see here full backup maintenance plan right click just same like job click on execute button done very good it was failed we'll see why it was failed okay how to check right click view history again maximize this one plus symbol maximize this window select the below message and you can see the error message here why it is failed fail with the following error okay the database warm batch 46 underscore new is in warm standby state okay so it was only failed because of only one database okay only the database with warm standby is there right the batch 46 underscore new which is in read only mode standby state okay that's why it was failed only on that database guys other database backups are succeeded what is the proof go to this folder see here earlier i don't have any folders here in c sql backups now you can see one folder is created for each database if you open this you can see backup with the date and time stamp see here 2022 10 23 19 3 means 7 3 59 pm so like this it will take the backup for of every database with the date and time stamp including system databases this is another way of creating maintenance plans guys so only challenge is 
so we have a problem with this database so now you can you can easily understand guys uh, it will take the backups of all the databases if the databases are in online state if it is offline state it will skip it but this is not online not offline it is read only state so backup was failed only on this database guys only on this database remaining backups it took okay let me uh, yes please but it was there in that folder right sorry backup folder batch new database created right just uh, in this folder yes folder is created but the backup is not created inside that not not it created right yes yes only the backup is not yet it won't take the backup okay batch 46 underscore new yeah, you can see here you don't see anything okay okay folder is created but just folder as per the step folder will be created but backup it won't take okay so okay. only this kind of read only databases under it will throw error but it will take the backup of other online databases guys this is how you have to create the maintenance plans clear very easy you have to simply select the what maintenance plan you want you have to select the databases you have to give the destination you have to select what type of backup you want that's it and you can schedule it using the schedule button and it will run as per the schedule guys no by need using to... jobs also we can do that same we can right? do that we can do that that's what i said either you can follow jobs or you can follow maintenance plan so both are this both are same and yeah. uh, we can select yeah. anything yes you can do anything you can do you can either do with jobs or you can either do with maintenance plans but uh, we have some I mean, uh, if you use, uh, I mean, put a render use here, channa put a one difference. Put a, I mean, uh, I, I said either of them, not both. Ah, either of them, I, I yeah, yeah, I got it. Means either you will use jobs or you will use maintenance plans, not both. If a maintenance use is say, man, I mean. Uh, I mean uh, uh, there is a, see extra advantage is there that i'll explain but here in this scenario okay, okay. Uh, yeah. both are same in this scenario whatever in i explained scenario. in this scenario both are same what is okay. the extra advantage same. i'll tell you okay, okay. okay. Uh, will the status still remains in standby read only mode though your backup got it online uh, no, actually, the that is the old status. Okay, even though I brought the database to online, it went to its old state, not online. If you want to bring the database to online, you have to run restore database database name with recovery. Then the database will come to online. So that right, fine. So what is the advantage? See, generally in this case, up to here, your full backup and your maintenance plan both are same what is the advantage with the maintenance plan i'll tell you guys so imagine you are taking backups to this c drive okay c drive you are taking how much free space is there here 8.36 gb so until there is a free space you are taking backups to the c drive only right so until there is a free space your maintenance plan will run successfully or your job will run successfully imagine if there is no free space your backup your maintenance plan and your full backup will be failed right correct if there is no free space in the drive where it can take the backups if there is no free space it cannot take the backups right it will be failed generally yes. if you go with the jobs there is a problem what is the problem guys every week will take the backups generally every sunday will take the backups every sunday to 2nd, 9th, 16th, 23rd, 30, like that every Sunday backup job will run and it will generate backups. But the problem here with the jobs is, see, I don't want to keep all the full backups, right? Why I need to keep, see, the database is created in the 2015, imagine. Since 2015, the backup job is running. Since 2015, it is taking the full backup. If I am having fresh full backup, why I have to store the backup since 2015? It's waste of the storage, right? So we don't keep all full backups. We will hardly keep two weeks full backups, guys. In case of something goes wrong to recover, we'll hardly keep two weeks full backups. 
then what about other full backups the older full backups who will delete it if one database is there every week one full backup will generate if 100 databases are there 100 full backups will generate every sunday like that next sunday 100 more total 200 full backups third sunday 100 more 300 full backups like that if it is keep taking the full backups the drive will full at one point and next sunday it won't run which will be failed due to space issues anyhow i am having a fresh free full backups right why i need to keep old backups so i want to delete the old full backups how many files you will delete ma uh, manually how many files you can delete manually so every day not only with full backups right we are we will take the differential backups every day so every day the differential backups will generate every 15 minutes log backups will generate so if you don't delete the old backups you don't create free space for the new backups so at one point your drive will full your backups will be failed which is not correct right so it has to delete the old backups who will delete the old backups i am maintaining thousand servers in thousand servers each server 10 databases are there thousand into 10 10000 backups are there who will delete all 10,000 backups every week, every day, every 15 minutes? Agreed guys? Is it clear? Who will delete all the old backups? Who will check? Okay, this is old backup. Let's delete this. This is old backup. Who will check? You cannot check right manually. That should, that also can automate guys. That also can be automated. Either you can automate with the, again, SQL jobs. Or you can automate with the scripts I mean sorry maintenance plans guys is it clear the thing is you have to delete the old backups you cannot delete old backups manually so for that purpose we can use automation again that we can achieve with the maintenance plans or we can achieve with the jobs also jobs means again you have to write separate logic separate coding separate scripts and all better you can go with the maintenance plans guys we have one more maintenance plan which is maintenance cleanup task drag it once so you can see now this is maintenance cleanup task if you select this it will ask you from where i have to delete the backups what is the threshold value means how many days how many weeks old backups i have to delete okay so you have to select here guys backup files maintenance plan text reports delete file specific file if you want to delete any specific file you can give the specific file name or you want to delete any any backup files from any specific location you can give the location so what i am going to do i am going to delete uh, from my default location where is the default location sql backup uh, no not sql backup c program files microsoft sql server instance root directory ms sql backup folder okay from this location it will delete the old backups let me open the path once let me check how many days old backups are there i want to show you the proof right without proof we cannot believe anything as a dbs especially so you can see backups since 16th of october guys okay so now i want to delete all 16th backups you have to select manually you have to delete it manually which is not good right how many servers you will do like this i will automate the same using this maintenance cleanup task so i want to delete the backups from this location and the extension will be bak okay extension will be bak right so in case if it was any if if the files are there in any folders you can select this option it will go inside the folder and it will delete here you can mention the threshold how many days old backups how many weeks old backups how many hours old backups you want to delete i want to delete uh, two days old backups guys weeks two days okay means from this location if any backups are there older than two days if any backups are there older than two days all the backups will be deleted check here guys how many items are there 15 items okay so i am just giving this value but in the organization generally there is a standard value if it is full backups will give two weeks if it is a differential backups again will give two weeks 
okay and if it is a log backups again will give to generally in the organization the threshold value is two weeks means last two weeks backups they will maintain older backups they don't maintain fine so just to show you the demo i am just giving two days here but in the organization it will be two weeks and all click ok done right after this full backup it has to clean up the old backups or you can do one thing first delete the old backups it will create some free space in the drive then it will take the full backups how to link up select this plan just double click on this drag it means first this task will run then this full backup task will run what is the difference if you run this task at first first it will delete the backups older than two days then it will create some free space in the drive then it will run so it will create new backups save it guys now check here now i am going to run this again right click of course it will be failed what we can do let me keep this database offline instead of failing we can keep this database offline okay done so let me run this now execute so it will do two things now can anyone tell me what are those two things it was succeeded what it will do yes very good okay go to this location default location now check how many files are there how uh, earlier how many files are there 15 out of 15 five files are deleted this is also showing 16th one only but why this file is not deleted can anyone tell me the reason the time that is time time will be time is 16th right two days we gave yeah. two days old backups right yeah. it has to delete 16th means one week old backup it has to delete this backup right that that is not a bak very that good is not a BAK. very good very good guys very good we gave the backup extension as bak but this is dot yes. trn backup so that's why this file is not deleted clear guys what is the advantage with the maintenance plans this we can achieve with the jobs also but in the jobs you have to run the script manually like how you did this for full backups just now we created a script right from google and all that you have to do it manually but if you choose maintenance plan automatically it will do that clear sanjay now the difference between job and maintenance yes 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 i got it do we have any mechanism to write the backup files directly to tape instead of writing to disk uh you can take the backups to tape okay while taking backups it will ask you to take the backup okay where is that backup either tape or disk you can see here backup to disk or url earlier versions now you don't have option to take backups to the tapes earlier versions is having that feature you can take the backup to tapes In now latest versions you don't have that feature so dakar clear and one more thing sir yes please will it delete uh, permanently i mean of course, before of course of course of course it will delete it permanently okay it won't store it anywhere like you cannot find it in the trash and all bin and all okay any questions guys here please any questions any doubts no questions are we good no sir okay just a minute please okay just one minute right okay fine so now let's discuss about this uh, um, other than this what we have to discuss in the automation 
yes operators guys okay uh, alerts also is there uh, i'll try to um, start the alerts but i don't think it will complete okay guys we'll discuss the operators and database mail feature then the next week we'll we'll cover alerts okay it will take time one one and a half hour i don't have that much energy to cover okay so operators what is this operator how it will help you guys i told you earlier in case if my job is failed imagine in one server five jobs will be there okay like that 100 server 500 jobs will be there so all jobs will run automatically so we don't know which job is succeeded which job is failed if the job is succeeded no issues guys no issues no problems for us but the challenge is if the job is failed only but we cannot go and log into each and every server we cannot check which which one is succeeded which one is failed so for that we have a notification mechanism so we can use this notifications mechanism so how this will work sql server has a capability to send emails to your mail id sql server has a capability to send emails to your mail id guys either it can be outlook or google gmail anything but for gmail and all extra settings you have to give uh, but outlook you can give normal settings uh, it will the port and all will be open from the organization side so you can either give outlook means using notifications feature you can notify you will be notified in case if any job is failed how you will get notified by using database mail feature so database mail feature will help you to send an email from sql server to your mail account so here this is the database mail feature at this moment i cannot show you i'll show you how to configure it okay we can configure it easily but for google for gmail we don't have outlook right for gmail we have to do some extra settings you have to turn off the uh, safe uh, something option will be there guys uh, in the gmail uh, safe uh, what is that one option will be there i just forgot about that option Mm, that safety feature we have to turn off okay then it will allow generally how to create a database mail uh, right click on the database mail configure uh, let me check someone commented ssl not ssl uh, slacker one more option will be there okay configure database mail next you have to create a database mail account okay next uh, it will be generally the feature will be turned off so you have to click yes it will turn on the feature what it is saying alter failed ad hoc update system catalogs is not supported uh, why this is not closed but it encountered the following error alter failed an exception occurred while executing a transaction ad hoc update to system catalogs is not supported uh, why like that why 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 this is the new year database mail right configure database mail next next uh, yeah now you got it okay fine next so profile name uh, db mail i am just giving db mail guys nothing to worry in the organization you will have script to enable the database mail sir what account i have to give what name i have to give what email id i have to nothing to worry you will have script default scripts will be there maintenance scripts in that script db mail also one script you can execute that script it will create the database mail just to show you how to do that i'm i'm just explaining you guys okay so add a smtp smtp accounts smtp means a simple mail transfer protocol which will help you to to send emails guys click on add smtp here you have to give account name sql dba account okay i'm just giving one random name okay you can give any name description no need to give anything so here uh, i'm going to give any email id guys real time it trainings at the rate gmail.com okay from this mail you will get the mails guys sql server will help will take help of this mail account see for example if i want to send an email to you first of all i should have email account right so in the same way sql server can send emails 
but it should have one mail account right this is that mail account it will log into this mail account and then it will keep sending mails from this mail account to the recipients guys display name no need to mention reply email not required my my google server name is smtp.gmail.com guys smtp.gmail.com okay and port number is 587 i guess 587 okay guys this won't work again i'll show you uh, i'll show this um, uh, database mail feature later but this is how generally you have to configure in the organization we don't use any gmail servers we will use outlook servers that's why just to understand how to configure database mail i'm showing you this guys okay fine so the port number is 587 basic authentication here you have to give the this mail id username and this mail id password okay i'm just giving this mail id password what is this mail id password okay one two three great mm -hmm. one two three guys okay click okay next uh, just accept this uh, db mail profile next and make this mail profile as a default profile yes next this is normal parameters next and finally finish guys this is how you have to create database mail okay so now now what you can do now you just created sender account you have to create recipient account also right to send emails expand this you can see operators operators are nothing but recipients if you want to create one recipient you have to create a new operator right click new operator while sending email generally in the from section our email account will be there in the to section the opposite person opponent person email id will be there okay so this is a sender i mean like this is a receiver so you have to give the receiver email account so i am going to give uh, mail operator you can give any name guys it's not mandatory uh, email also it's not mandatory ah this is here you have to mention the recipient email id so here i'll mention uh, da, 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 da. which email i have to mention any email account guys generally in the organization will mention sql dbs at the rate your infosys or tcs or whatever company name you will get it okay so here i am going to mention uh, let me use my uh, regular account okay gmail.com guys operator means recipient account recipient to whom you are going to send an email in the organization generally here dba group email id will be there why because if the job is failed it has to send a mail to all the dbas right not only a single person we cannot give each dba email id here so we will have a group mail id account so we'll include this group mail account here mail id account here so that in case if something goes wrong it will directly send an email to that particular dba group in the organization it will work like that in our case we don't have group email id we don't have outlook configuration to set up the database mail we are using gmail credentials that's it guys notification uh, that's it here no need to select anything general and uh, you can click ok in the operator you will simply give operator name and recipient email id guys click ok guys okay done now if any job is failed you want to get notified right double click on the job go to notifications now you can see email notification now select this one earlier you don't see anything right now you can see mail operator this mail operator is attached with one email id okay so whenever the job fails automatically sql database mail will send an email okay using this operator sql server will send an email using database mail to this operator guys in the operator dba team will be there so all dba people will get an email that so and so server so and so job failed is it clear database mail feature you don't need to create manually like i did in the organization script will be there just change the server name in the script and execute the script it will create database mail for operator also script will be there you can execute that script it will create operators guys 
for both scripts will be there nothing to worry at all but you should know how it will work operator means recipient receiver i can say receiver generally who will be the receivers dba team right if something goes wrong they have to check right so in the operator will include dba team mail id database mail generally it's, it includes mail id name mail id port number you have to give those details those details generally will be there in the script guys that's it in this way you will be notified if something goes wrong clear any questions any doubts like that you can you can guys again one more important thing so even though you create maintenance plan don't confuse here internally it will create a job guys see here this is full backup maintenance plan sub plan one internally it will create you don't need to create anything once you create a maintenance plan internally it will create a job okay by default it will create a job when you create a maintenance plan hope we can configure multiple delivery yes yes of course so that you can give multiple operators see here right click new operator um, uh sudhakar okay email id sudhakar at gmail.com done okay so now this time if this job is failed you, i want to inform to sudhakar email now you can see two operators sudhakar now directly it will goes to your account like that if multiple teams are there application team dba team network team you know, each account you will create one operator and uh, to which account you want to uh, notify you will simply select that operator the mail notification will goes to that particular team clear guys any questions any doubts everyone is it clear okay so we are pending with the alerts guys so alerts sorry to con for the confusion can we configure multiple operators in a single shot uh not possible see single shot means uh, if you have a script you can do that gui means that is not possible you have to create multiple times if you have a script you can you can do that you can create multiple operators uh, uh, in a single shot yeah yeah that's it guys okay so uh, we are pending with uh, uh alerts alerts are very important in case if my data file is full i want to get an email if my log file is full i want to get an email if if uh, what we can see if i have blockings in my sql server i want to get an email so for this alerts okay uh, if my database is offline i want to get an email for this generally will create some alerts guys so that is your alerts sql server alerts so how to configure alerts and all we'll discuss in the next uh, saturday guys so next saturday uh, by god's grace if i have recovered completely then as usual we'll take two and a half hour session 7 to 9 30 in the morning 6 to 8 30 in the evening okay so that's it for now if you have any questions you can ask me otherwise uh, take care of your health happy diwali okay so uh, that's it from my side guys fine any questions no questions happy diwali guys thank you all bye <coughs> good night thank you sir yeah. thank you sir happy yeah thank you